No, Mr. Netanyahu, it is not anti-Semitic or pro-Hamas to point out that in a little over six months, your extremist government has killed 34,000 Palestinians and wounded more than 78,000, 70% of whom are women and children. It is not anti-Semitic to point out that your bombing has completely destroyed more than 221,000 housing units in Gaza, leaving more than a million people homeless, almost half the population. It is not anti-Semitic to note that your government has obliterated Gaza's civilian infrastructure, electricity, water, and sewage. It is not anti-Semitic to realize that your government has annihilated Gaza's healthcare system, knocking 26 hospitals out of service and killing more than 400 healthcare workers. It is not anti-Semitic to condemn your government's destruction of all of Gaza's 12 universities and 56 of its schools, with hundreds more damage, leaving 625,000 students with no educational opportunities. It is not anti-Semitic to agree with virtually every humanitarian organization in saying that your government, in violation of American law, has unreasonably blocked humanitarian aid coming into Gaza, creating the conditions in which so many thousands of children face malnutrition and famine. Mr. Netanyahu, anti-Semitism is a vile and disgusting form of bigotry that has done unspeakable harm to many millions of people. But please, do not insult the intelligence of the American people by attempting to distract us from the immoral and illegal war policies of your extremist and racist government. Do not use anti-Semitism to deflect attention from the criminal indictment you are facing in the Israeli courts. It is not anti-Semitic to hold you accountable for your actions.